the marshal. Can anyone hear me? Please help. This is the World Ocean's authority. What is the situation? Storm! Came out of nowhere! Worse than I've ever seen. Stay calm. I'm tracing your GPS signal now. Ah! Please, hurry! Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? My family are explorers. We have been for generations. While others look up to the stars, we know there are an infinite number of things that shine in the darkness below. There are things lurking in the seas that long ago vanished into men. My family are explorers, and we explore the deep. do until right now welcome working on something new and exciting oh changing a light bulb but i forgot to get a new bulb is our super cool secret project ready Ooh, the first one or the second one the one that was my idea yes <laughs> do you always keep a crowbar in there a good scientist is always prepared uh, stop what about my presentation oh yes I forgot. You won't need that later? Eh, I have more. <laughs> Did you build the smoke machine too? Of course. Once in a lifetime, a technological advancement comes along and changes deep sea exploration forever. So true. The submarine. The scuba suit. The old tiny diving costume with the fishbowl head. Classics? Isn't that you? Shh, he's nearly finished. And now, the Shadow Knight. The crate! Ed's passion project. Oh, oh, oh. Nice. oh that's awesome. I call it the Shadow Knight. It's like the White Knight, but the sleeker design makes it easier to maneuver. And the gray metallic coloring makes it almost invisible in the water. Mm, good try, Ant. I'm sure you'll fix the kinks. I didn't get to the coolest part. You'll love it. You said there was a second project, Professor? Oh, uh, yes. To the Aranax. I'll catch up. I just need to figure out how to load the Shadow Knight on board. Just need to oh, install an extra ah, oh, hard drive. <laughs> and we're ready. <clears throat> Hello, Amy. Hello, Professor. Nectons, meet Amy, the artificial intelligence. Hello, William and Keiko Necton. <laughs> uh, watch this. Amy, status report, please. Surface temperature is 14 degrees. Wind speed is 30 knots. I have organized a list of maintenance tasks in order of priority. Tomorrow is Professor Fiction's birthday. <laughs> this is so awesome! I am merely well programmed. It's all voice controlled. Check this out. Amy, take us out. It's impressive. But? I have enough trouble with Ant talking back. I don't need another voice on the ship. I am programmed to help and protect the Nectons. Help protect Nectons. Three of my favorite words. Incoming call from Commander Pyrosome of the World Oceans Authority. Nectons. Commander Pyrosome. We have a situation. A kayaker attempting a long distance record has encountered a severe storm. <gasps> Matilda Marshall? She's my idol! The severity of the storm is keeping our planes back, and our submarines are too far away. You're the closest vessel. Of course we'll help! Okay, just turn around and drop me off at HQ, then you can- No time. You're coming with us. But I didn't pack anything. Amy, take us to Matilda! Uh, Aunt, I've got this. <clears throat> Amy, please take us to Matilda via the quickest possible route. Your proposed route takes the Aranax through Dead Man's Reef, a dangerous journey. I suggest a safer route. A life is at stake. Understood. 
Setting quickest route. Maybe the wrong time, but... <laughs> Does anyone have a spare toothbrush? I only patch crowbars. Amy, I'm in a hurry. Can you feed Jeffrey for me? 22 calories, exactly. We copied the controls from the White Knight, but the weight distribution is different. So they need adjusting. That's why it didn't work before. Untested equipment can be dangerous. I advise caution. Caution? I don't know the meaning of the word. Caution. Noun. Care taken in order to... Uh, it's just an expression, Amy. Sheesh. Just over an hour, Matilda. Uh, okay, but if I'm not here when you get here, please tell... No. We're coming now. I promise. You will be there. Fontaine out. Shadow Knight demonstration. Move pool room. Oh, bring your own snacks. We'll watch from here. Thanks. I've adjusted the controls, but I left the spoke machine back at the workshop, so you'll have to use your imagination. Ooh, and the music. What's going on? Don't touch me. I just need to practice. We can't be too careful. I recommend against continuing. I just need to practice. Get used to the weight. Almost got it. Engaging propulsion. You must stop immediately. He's fine, Amy. And Teas's recklessness could lead to injury. I advise paying greater attention to his activities. Uh, no offense, Amy. I am incapable of being offended. But I don't need parenting advice from a computer. You're a little bit offended, aren't you? No. It's gonna be a little awkward. The Shadow Knight isn't designed to be used out of water. I just want to know the balance is right before I jump into bone-crushing depths. This demonstration is over. Let him go. I am programmed to protect the Nectons, even from themselves. It's okay if he falls. We let Ant do what he needs to do. It's also kind of funny. Exactly! It's an issue with the higher center of gravity. If I can just adjust the gyroscope and New the... data suggests that the Nectons cannot be trusted with their own safety. Uh, what's that? Whoa! Amy? Are you diverting us to the longer route? I repeat, Amy, are you diverting us to the longer route? Professor, what's happening? We need to stop Amy before... <gasps> before things like that happen. Amy, Matilda needs us. Your safety is my prime directive. Everything else is secondary. The kayaker must wait. Is anyone there? Montaigne? Don't worry, Matilda. Everything's under control. We're coming. We just have to deal with an insane computer. Sanity is not a measure one applies to an operating system. We may be able to use the rover to reach Matilda. Why are we whispering? William Necton, could you speak louder so you are audible to the ship's security system? Let the others know what we're doing. The moon pool room is off limits for your safety. Um, we're going to make sure the other vehicles are secure so that nobody takes them out through that reef because of the danger. Good. Responsible thinking. <laughs> Interfering with the Aranax's equipment could endanger our mission. Oh, I think there may be another way of accessing the bowels of the ship. Ew. Bowels. <laughs> this should lead us back to the space under the bridge where Amy's hard drive is located. I'll go first. I know this ship inside and out. Oh, where did that come from? No, I need you to keep Amy distracted. What? I should be part of the action. It's what I do. Look, Amy is a futuristic, hyper-smart artificial intelligence designed by one of the world's greatest scientific minds. It's almost impossible to outwit her, even for a second. 
I'll do it! One of the world's greatest scientific minds. Huh. You can be smug after we remove the insane computer you installed. I cannot recommend your current course of action. If I need advice from a heartless machine, I'll ask a toaster! is just a... Ow! Watch out! Amy's throwing pipes at us! That was always there. <sighs> I hope Ant has found a way to distract her. Amy, you're programmed to keep us safe, right? Correct. Well, I'm standing cold and half naked in front of the fridge, even though it's flu season. Burr. I recommend that you return to quarters and cover up... These words are so small and difficult to see. You risk permanent strain to your <laughs> eye muscles. Uh, I'm in danger. The sugar will wrap my teeth and cause dangerous chemical imbalances in my liver. Your recklessness is affecting my ability to run this ship, Antaeus. You are nearing Dead Man's Reef. Proceeding poses an unacceptable risk. You and I have very different ideas of unacceptable risk. Does this reef worry you? Nope. Even if you make it through the reef, you must surface to retrieve the kayaker, putting you in the path of the storm. We understand the storm is too dangerous and we should turn back. Yes, precisely. We just have to pick one thing up first. away now. You'll be okay. Just hold on. No, I am putting a stop to this. No. Amy! close to the reef. I didn't know Amy was in the rover. The rover is hooked up to the Aeronex network. All of our vehicles are. All of them except... What? No time for cookies. Cookies? Why are you running, Antaeus? I'm helping my family. The family you put in danger, remember? No. I cannot allow you to... To let me save them? Protect them? I... Isn't that your prime directive? I... Do not. Uh, you must. Huh? Ah! Ha! Told you it was a gyroscope! This equipment is still untested and dangerous. I strongly advise against taking it out into the water. Okay, I'll take your advice under consideration. Very good. And then ignore it! Thanks! That was very helpful. Whoa. <laughs> it works! It totally works! You can't control the night, can you, Amy? You must be annoying. I do not get annoyed. That sounds like a challenge. What's happening? Did you touch something? I didn't touch anything. It's not me. Whoa. Stand by to intercept. Intercept? Intercept what? Is is that Ant? Are we intercepting Ant? Yes, I am able to detect his current course and plot an interception point. You have to let him go, Amy. He's trying to save a life. By risking his own not acceptable. Ant, look out! We're coming for you! Got to show. 
show off the coolest part of this night, did I? What is this coolest part? Stealth mode! I don't know how you did it, but you just disappeared from radar and GPS. And Teus has disappeared from all instruments. Good for him. William, perform a visual check for the Shadow Knight. Antaeus? Shadow Knight? <laughs> Never heard of them. There it is! You have to be very careful removing that hard drive. It's connected to a lot of delicate machinery. Can't I just rip it off? Ripping it off is also worth a try. Are you okay? Oh, nothing serious. Just enough of a charge to keep people away. I programmed Amy to protect you. Now she's preventing anyone from disabling her so she can keep on protecting you. Why am I so smart? What do we do? I... I... I don't know. Amy, what are you doing? I do not need to know where Antaeus is presently. I do know where he is going. The kayaker. No. Intercepting in three seconds. Come on! Come on! Do not interfere with the operation of the, the, the rover. Look out! I repeat, do not tamper with the vehicle. Oh! <laughs> Hold on! You're normally very opposed to breaking things! I'm more opposed to being controlled by artificial intelligence! This is a very and delicate uh, mission that... All yours, Ant! Go save Matilda! I'm on it! Next time, instead of a terrifying and unpredictable artificial intelligence, can we get a dog or something? <sighs> Did you drop this? Thank goodness you're here. Don't touch me. What? If you do, it's considered assistance, and you'll be disqualified from the world record, right? Don't you still want to try? Of course. But you've come all this way. Now we're close if anything goes wrong. Good thing somebody brought a patch kit. You can still try to do this on your own, if you want to. Yes, I really do. You see, Amy? People need to be allowed to fail on their own, so they can try again and succeed. Nobody knows more about failing than Ant. You're programmed to help and protect us, right? Yes. We're explorers, scientists. We have to take risks. We don't get better if we don't let ourselves fail. We fall down, then we pick ourselves up and keep going. But my programming... If you protect us like that, you're not really helping us. I... That, that is my d directive. Amy? I... I think she's shutting down. Tell her to come aboard the Aranax. I want to meet her. I really can't. It's nice. We have cookies. I ate all the cookies. Sorry. Ugh. Get an autograph? After I finish the journey, I have to do this. I get it. If you don't finish it yourself, you'll never know if you could have. Exactly. I think we can help. Mom, the rules say we can't touch Matilda, but we can shield her from the storm. I think I know where you're going, Aunt. How's it going, Professor? Oh, I feel terrible. I think I should step down as your scientific advisor. Maybe I could be a baker or a fighter pilot. Have you ever flown a fighter jet? No, but I once made one out of microwave parts and an old bicycle. You tried something, it didn't work, but that's okay. We'll keep testing and keep learning until we get it right. 
And by the way, happy birthday for your next bright idea. Well, it looks like the storm is finally cleared. You're on your own now. <laughs>